In this section, we will look at permutations and combinations. Permutations are for lists where order matters, and combinations are for groups where order doesn't matter. With permutations, every detail matters. Alice, Bob, and Charlie is different from Charlie, Bob, and Alice. Combinations, on the other hand, are pretty easygoing. The details don't matter. Alice, Bob, and Charlie is the same as Charlie, Bob, and Alice. Here is a cool little joke. Let's start with permutations. Let's say we have eight people as listed below. How many ways can we award first, second, and third place prize among those eight contestants? Picking first, we have eight choices. Then pick second, which gives us seven choices. Then third, we have six choices. So total number of options, 8 times 7 times 6, which equals 336. Before continuing, let's go over what a factorial explanation point is. Eight factorial means eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Bifactorial means five times four times three times two times one. The permutation formula is written here using factorials. which is number of ways to arrange items over what's left over after picking k items from n items. Now we look at combinations where order doesn't matter. The general formula for combinations is given here by dividing the permutation formula by k factorial. This divides all the redundancies since order doesn't matter. And here is another way to write the formula. Now let's look at some examples. This example is a combination since we are just choosing three people out of ten. This example is permutation since president, VP, and treasurer are in a specific order.
Now let's use the formulas by hand to evaluate. This example is a combination since we just want to pick 5 from 12 desserts. This example is a permutation since we're ranking in order the desserts.